pilih yang berlayar 13 inci atau 15 inci. Galaxy Book 2 Pro buatan Samsung ditujukan bagi pengguna yang tetap bekerja dari rumah. We did some research and we now see that a lot of people are saying that their employers are not giving them the tech equipment to continue to do remote working. As many companies are going back three days a week to the office and two days you can remote work. And so we want to empower people to work from home. So some of our laptops now come with the fastest possible Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 6E, and then we also have some of our laptops equipped with 5G. So if you do not have Wi-Fi, You're on 5G and can continue to work. Laptop baru buatan Samsung ini diluncurkan tak lama setelah ponsel pintar Galaxy S22. It's it's hard to get excited about a laptop. It's a utility thing. It's not really like, oh my god, I'm so excited about this new laptop. But in terms of like corporate needs and this type of thing, telcos and larger companies will be interested in the Galaxy Book. So I think that this device is more targeted at you know, industry rather than consumers. Perusahaan riset pasar Canales mencatat penjualan laptop dan desktop selama 2021 menguat sekitar 15 persen dibandingkan tahun sebelumnya dan 27 persen dibandingkan 2019. Menurut pantauan Canales, pangsa pasar terbesar tetap dikuasai oleh produsen yang memang fokus pada desktop dan juga laptop. Lenovo, Hewlett Packard, lalu Dell. Tapi Apple, produsen iPhone, juga menguasai pangsa pasar cukup signifikan dengan MacBook-nya. Samsung dan Huawei tak mau ketinggalan. MateBook X Pro definitely is our flagship of a PC, you know, with full new design, you know, full uh, view and uh, you know uh, the the latest uh, chipset and uh, also most importantly we have a mobile app engine inside to enable users to bring the Windows system and uh, uh, and the mobile system together. Analis menilai diversifikasi ke laptop ini menjadi bagian strategi Huawei. I think what we're seeing is the transition that Huawei has to undergo from being primarily a smartphone OEM to a OEM of many things, with one of which is consumer electronics, you know, like laptops, tablets, uh, even a printer. So, you know, I think that's been brought on by the sanctions that they've undergone or, or been under for the last couple of years, seen the smartphone market, their smartphone market shipments decline drastically from 2020 to 2021. Selama 2021, penjualan laptop lebih bergairah dibandingkan desktop, yaitu meningkat 16 persen menurut pantauan Canales. Di saat penjualan desktop meningkat 7 persen. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.